Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heroes Chronicles spin-off series for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. In Chapter 3, we venture to the Elemental Plains as the immortal hero Tarnum hangs up his sword for a robe. Alright, Scenario 3, don't drink the water. Tarnum must defeat all of the fortresses. All heroes will be limited to level 20, but Tarnum and his three best heroes will transfer to the next scenario with their spell skills and experience. The Orb of Driving Rain will transfer to all scenarios, and we will go with 30 ore. Let's do this. The Elemental Lords already departed for our world by the time Tarnum reached the Plain of Water. Tarnum's preemptive attack turned out to be a mistake. Now, he had to gain control over all four elements if he had any hope of returning home. We were unable to return to our plane of existence. When the Air Lord left his realm, he crushed the gateway to the clouds behind him. With all these wizards around, you would think one of them would have warned me that the only way back to our world is to gain mastery over the Conflux Town. So, I have travelled here to the plane of water to conquer the water and ice elementals. Okay, it's a very barren base. Oh, you keep the Tome of Air Element? Oh, that's huge. Okay, so you keep the tombs as well as the, um, the orbs. Okay, that's massive. The fact that we now have... Dimension door and fly indefinitely for this campaign is amazing. So you need to capture all fortresses. Okay. This realm of water is worse than the plane of air. Everything bobs slowly up and down as if the entire world sits on a ship in a storm. Even when I'm standing on solid ground, if you can call all this mud solid, bouts of seasickness overcome me. Barislar insists that navigation is an important skill to master. But I say a magical cure for queasiness is far more urgent. Sorry, Lord Tarnum, Barristar said. I don't think that there is such a thing. I wonder if he was telling the truth. Alright, let's grab ourselves Town Hall. Why have I got so much money? I don't really understand how that's happened. Barislar shook his head as we met this morning. We've been trying all night through every magical means possible. We simply cannot contact King Magnus. Then we are on our own, I said. Yes, I'm afraid he will think we are lost. Well, there is nothing we can do about it, but continue on, I said, trying not to sound too happy. Now maybe I can lead this army of wizards without any interference. Not interested in navigation. Uh, match level one.
Scales litter the ground outside the den of some greater basilisks, enough to fashion an excellent suit of armour. Unfortunately, the creatures are likely to attack if you come near. Do you want to risk a fight with lots of greater basilisks to get the armour? Yes. The fact that we have all these air, uh, inter -spell, air spells already this early on in the game bodes pretty well for the entire campaign, to be honest. There's clearly a base there. Actually, I do need to consider I could get marooned if I don't find an actual base. I know there's one here. I do have mysticism. That's only two spell points a day, yeah. Today, Barislaw left on a small boat with only a few gremlins for a crew. He's going to explore this realm and attempt to determine the locations of our enemy. I have no doubt he also plans to study the specific nature of this plane. In the last week, he's been hiding in his tent more than usual, scribbling away. To keep him focused while he's away, I've ordered him to send regular reports. I'm hoping there's a base on this island. My mage instructor Hemeros has uncovered some interesting information concerning two artifacts that are known to be located on the plane of water. Individually, both the Necklace of the Ocean Guidance and the Sea Captain's Hat increase someone's travel speed over water, but if one person wears them both, they form the Admiral's Hat. This will allow the wearer to board or disembark a ship without losing their movement for a day. Such a powerful item. That actually is pretty good. I do like do want diplomacy. Um, that is one thing I am hoping we find as a skill. But I also want pathfinding and logistics, so we shall see. All of this water travel is horrible. I'm losing weight from all the retching, and I still haven't gotten used to fighting when the ground is moving beneath my feet. And I seem to be the only one having a problem with seasickness. These wizards move about with ease. When I ask them how they do it, each one has given me a different cure for the queasiness. Of course, none of them have worked. Just about the only thing I can keep down is tea and toast. Today I got my first report from Barislar. I admit I never expected an owl to land on a nearby tree branch and start speaking with Barislar's nasal whine. Lord Tarnum, I have travelled far already and I have noticed the water and ice elementals block just about every passage in this realm. They will attack without question, so I have stayed away from them thus far. You may want to have one hero deal with these creatures while another picks up the floating debris. There is a veritable fortune floating on the water. I have sent some of what I have collected. I looked around, not sure what Barislar meant. Then the owl picked at a small pouch tied around one of its legs and dropped it in my lap before it flew off. No sooner had I untied the pouch than it exploded in my face, nearly burying me beneath a pile of wood and gold. Okay, glad I didn't pick that up with uh, my main hero. Seems the game really wants me to get navigation. 
which I really don't want. Okay, well I've got my mana back, so that's uh, that's a good start. So I'm going to have to get on my ship. Oh, unless I can fly from there to there. Possible, actually. Okay, maybe there's a place I can dim door. No. Okay. Actually, I'll tell you what I could do. Dim door over here. Fly over there. And fly next turn as well. That would sort that problem out. Barris last owl returned again with a short message. There is a town to the north that is not held by the enemy, or at least it wasn't when this message was sent. At this point, I could use all the income I can get, so this is good news. Wonderful. I have a horrible feeling I'm going to be forced to pick up learning navigation in this mission. I really do not want. Are there even any enemies on this? Yeah, there is. Ah, boots of levitation, eh? You are surprised to find genies on the plane of water, but soon realise they are trapped here guarding a pair of boots of levitation. Do you want to attack them to get the boots? I most certainly do. Yeah, great help, this mission. Being able to walk on water is uh, useful to say the least. Wow, there is no damage. What? Why does that do like no damage? I barely slept a wink last night thanks to this blasted seasickness. Miserable, I collapsed on the wet ground outside of my tent. The mud soaking into my robes didn't matter. My clothes were already covered with the filth of more than three weeks of vomiting and marching through the swamp. I haven't felt well enough to wash, not that it's a concern of mine. A little dirt never hurts anyone. But this morning as I mounted, I noticed out of the corner of my eye two mages snickering and pointing at me. Were they laughing at my appearance? Or was it because I was the only one who seemed to be seasick? They were lucky I was in this condition though, otherwise I would have rode over there and smashed their noses in. <laughs> nice. Might be worth me going back to base. 
Although it was odd to hear Barislar's voice coming from an owl's beak, I realised today that I was finally getting used to it. The creature landed on my arm this time. First, I'll explain that unlike the enslaved sprites, the creatures of the fortress work for the Lord of Water willingly. This wet world is their home, and they are simply defending it for their master. That I can understand, even respect, but they stand in the way of my return home. I've let it be known that I want no unnecessary cruelty against these people, and that the punishment for such acts will be death. Oops. Uh, can I really not get there? Okay, fine. Might as well get my mana back. Suppose I probably sh Oh, there's the orb of driving range. Probably pick that up. Navigation is like the only thing that's there. <laughs> Yikes. Can not know where that's going to go. It doesn't work for me. That's a fairly good army. That's a nobody. Really? I'm beginning to understand sea travel better. The more lighthouses under my control, the faster my ships will move because they won't have to worry much about running ashore at night. Now I need to concentrate on taking as many of them as possible, and to keep control of them. The faster my ships, the sooner I'll be able to conquer this realm and move on to the next. I actually do need to uh, grab me a ship. Should have known that would happen. Ooh, Solmaya, nice. Yeah, we should be able to defend that. Lovely. 
The Lord of Water is gone, reported Barris Lazao. I didn't hear the rest of the message as I got a sinking feeling in my tender stomach. Had I made a mistake coming to the Elemental Plane so quickly? If the Elemental Lords have already gone to my world, then what kind of mayhem can they cause before I can master the elements? Okay, that's a problem. Fucking knew it. Okay, well, shit. I really did not want that skill. Ah, uh, well. Can't stop myself gaining XP, unfortunately. I really want to fight this Merist. We should just land somewhere. Typical. I called a conference with my advisors to discuss the possibility of returning home through other means, but everyone was convinced that the way was blocked except to those who have power over the conflux. I tried to make it through the meeting without retching, stubbornly holding back the churning feeling. In the end, it was a lost cause. I doubled over and retched right there in front of all my assistants. By the ancestors, will nothing give me relief? I moaned before I realised what I was saying. What did you say, Lord? asked the mage instructor Hemeros. Nothing, I mumbled and immediately ordered an end to the meeting. I was too sick to do anything about it, but I heard a couple of snickers as the wizards left. Well, at least I can travel quite far, which is good. Need to take care of this guy. Jesus, that is a big army. I'll give him that.
And spells really are the game changer. I don't understand why, even though I've like, uh, I suppose I'm not that much stronger than the enemy. Damn navigation. Shot they didn't retreat. Uh, which, where are they based, I wonder? Hemeros was enjoying his breakfast right in front of me while all I could keep down this morning was tea, a special brew that was the only thing keeping me from collapsing from starvation. You called on the ancestors before. Why? he asked. I pretended to take a long sip from my drink while I thought up an answer. Because the universe seems to hate me right now, why not call on some gods for help? I said. Hmm, an interesting choice. To call upon the gods of the barbarians, Hemeros said. I shrugged, noticing the suspicious look the mage instructor was giving me. It amuses me. Well, I'll leave you to your tea, Lord Tarnum, Hemeros said, dismissing himself quickly. There was something odd about the way he said that last part. Wow. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Not gonna lie. Okay, where is their base? It's gotta be around here somewhere. I chose poorly, it was there, wasn't it? Nice. Okay, that's good. I don't have to deal with that. Uh, 
That was actually pretty lucky, to be fair. Ooh, actually, they're not bad spells. Teleport's pretty good. Scuttleboat, also pretty good. Typical. Definitely got another base then. Now that I had a grasp of these magic spells, I've realised it was time for me to apply my understanding of tactics to their use. I summoned all my advisors to explain. Golems are too slow to send out right away. The enemy's archers will pick them off before they can do anything. The best tactic is to have them stay behind and guard the enchanters. Same with the gargoyles and nagas. We have all this magic, why not let the enemy come at us? Then give it to them real good. I thought the objective of battle was to attack, said the new gargoyle master Rabarak. He was a young wizard almost as obnoxious as Baraslar. When we have the powers of enchanters behind us and superior numbers, why not attack? Because, you moron, you'll lose most of your troops just trying to reach the enemy. What use would that be? All you need to do is cast haste on your troops to assure you get the first move and lure the enemy in, I said. It sounds simple, but that's actually the... Uh... Similar tactic to what I do most of the time. Cast haste, let the enemy come to you and then give it to them real good, as they say. <laughs> It is kind of funny just how um, how much easier it is to win battles with magic. Like magic really is kind of busted. Well, I'm surprised how little damage my guys do. Like I feel like I should be doing way more damage than I am. Maybe it's because I'm so used to like offense and stuff. I don't know. It doesn't feel like I'm doing the damage I should be doing. I'm not entirely sure why. Is cheeky. Hey, old. Ah, Tim of Water Magic, cool. Take that. Water and Ice Elements will protect this powerful Tome of Water Magic left here by the Water Lord. You try to draw the creatures away with a distraction, but they won't budge. If you want the Tome, you must fight the Elementals for it. Do you attack? Hells yeah, I do.
When was the last time I was well? I can't recall. When I woke this morning, I stared for an hour at the pot of tea near the fire. I just couldn't face another day of that stuff, so I immediately ordered one of the gremlins to bring me wine. And lots of it, I shouted. As long as I was going to vomit, I might as well be drunk too. <laughs> That's fair. This morning I approached the other wizards all sitting together eating breakfast. I smiled at them, placing a half-empty bottle of wine on the table. Then I grabbed a handful of eggs, threw some sausage on top for good measure, and shoved it all in my mouth. I watched as their jaws dropped. They watched me choke down the food, lean back and belch towards the heavens. You seem to be feeling better, Hemeros said. Yes, I said, retrieving the wine before I started walking away. A few yards away I stopped and yelled back, if I start feeling ill again, I'm going to come looking for you, Hammeros. You won't like it. I kept walking, leaving the wizards whispering frantically. Yes, I had figured out that they had been putting something in my tea that was making me sick. A good joke, considering the way I'd been treating them. I can take a joke. Once. <laughs> nice. Savage joke, though. Kind of went on a little bit too long, is it not? Already max level, right? Level 20. Oh, I'm not. As fate would have it. Interesting, I can't learn any more skills. It is most intriguing. Wow. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense actually. Yeah, we're definitely not winning this fight. So you must have another base around the corner from this. No, well, we'll kill what we can. Really feel like everything should be doing more damage than it actually is. I don't know why. Quite funny that the uh, the tar pit for the moat is actually like the best with um, fortress because it's the enemies have to walk through two layers of it, so it actually buys you a hell of a lot of time. Uh, 
hiding out the Mighty Gorgon's uh, effect, interestingly. Interesting. Jeez. Wow, I'll get an extra Chaos Hydra. Why not? Yeah, that went way better than the uh, auto combat. care about this one. So where's the other base then? It must be... Oh, there it is. I see. Man, we can literally travel for so long. Oh, she's got a lot of Chaos Hydras. I think that's all she wrote. Hey, congratulations! All your enemies have been defeated, and victory is yours.